Hi everybody, I'm David Baber, and today I wanna to show you how to use a feature on Google Forms where you can have short answers and have more than one correct answer. Because in most cases with Google Forms, when you have a short answer, it may be just one particular answer that's accepted. Well, what if you want there to be a question where there's maybe two or three or more possible correct answers, and you want the students to be able to type any of those answers and for it to be accepted. Well, here's how you do it. Now, I'm gonna go into this form that I've created. And one of the questions is, which US president died on July 4th? Well, there are three possible answers to this question. So I want to fix it so that any of those three will be accepted by the students on the form. So first off, I'm gonna go into my answer key right here. And I'm going to type in all of the answers that are acceptable. And like I said, there are three of them here. So we're going to say Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and James Monroe. Those are the three presidents who all died on July 4th. And we're going to fix it so that mark all other answers incorrect. So any other answer besides any of these three will not be accepted. And I'll make the question worth 10 points. So I'm going to click done. Now, here's the part where it's very important. You're going to go over here where the three dots are in the far right corner. And click that and click response validation. All right. Now, over here, of course, it shows our correct answers, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe. Now, on our first slot right here, <clears throat> this is where we're going to change it from number to regular expression okay so it'll say regular expression and then it will contain so say it contains now here's the part where you have to have everything just so pay close attention we're going to put these three answers here but for it to count any of those three you have to first put in a parenthesis and then type the first answer in and make sure that you put the correct spacing between each one and upper and lower case if it's case sensitive, okay? So we have our first answer, John Adams. Now, before you put a, don't put a space here, you're going to insert a special key that you don't use very often, but it's called a pipe or a vertical bar. It's one you don't use often, but it's on the keyboard and it's located directly above the enter key on your keyboard. You'll see the key above it has two lines on it, the one that's going up and down, straight up and down, that's the vertical bar or the pipe. So you're going to hold down the shift key and then press that button and put in a vertical bar right beside of our first answer. Now, without putting another space in there, we're going to type our second correct answer. So I have John Adams, vertical bar, Thomas Jefferson. Now we're gonna put another vertical bar in. So hold down the shift key, press the vertical bar button. And now we'll put in our third answer. Now, when you get to the end of all the answers you want to put in, then you're going to put a second parenthesis in. So you're going to put the one that closes it off on the right side. So in other words, the first parenthesis will be the one that curves to the left, and then the last one will be the one that curves out to the right. So that's how you put it in there. Make sure the question is required and that we have picked short answer up here at the top from our list. All right, so now we're going to uh, send this uh, form and I'll show you how this works on the form. So I'm going to send it to myself. Okay, and now we're going to open it up. Sometimes it takes a moment to load. All right, so here's the first question on the test and uh, it was a single answer. Who was the 14th president? So I will type in the correct answer. Now, here's the question where there's three possible answers. Which U.S. president died on July 4th? So I'm going to say John Adams. And it took it 
Now I'm going to go back and show you that you can also put in Thomas Jefferson. It took that one. So we'll go back one more time and put in James Monroe. And there you go. It took it. So and just to show you, if I go and put any other answer in, say, for instance, I put in James Madison, didn't take it, didn't match. So I have to go back and uh, do that question again. So that is how you do multiple correct answers on a short answer quiz in Google Forms. And if you have any questions, please email me at dbaber at wcs.k12.va.us.